Windy Prairie, okay. So I'm upset that Kadabra has so weak things because Psycho Cut is still an amazing move. And it's hard to aim Fire Blast even though it should make sense because one of the five shots is directly in front of me so I should quit trying to calculate the direction I should aim for the other shots to hit or something, I don't know. Why do the Pokemon in the 4th gen have such weird cries? They're all like weird bubbly noises. The only good ones are stunky. Oh hey, I got a Bunnyari. A mighty Bunnyari on that matter. Notice as I go up in levels or something, I seem to be catching a lot more Pokemon and uh, a lot more of them seem to have that lucky stuff. Oh wait, yeah, those guys have good cries too. Kachirisu has the curse of being really, 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 really terrible and unindustrying because it is literally just a Pikachu that happens to be a squirrel. They forgot to give it an evolution or any interesting things. They could have given it a cool evolution because those spikes on its tail that I may or may not have imagined could turn into like a whole spiky squirrel thing that I would have liked more than Luxray, but alas, it was not meant to be. And hey, uh, thing. Didn't people try to make that a meme like Mudkip and it didn't work very well? Oh, I don't know, it's hard for me to imagine any memes working well. And hey, I like Tangrowth, I want a Tangrowth, I at least want enough Tangles to buy a Tangrowth. Alright, looks like at least I'm gonna- oh, Feisty Tangle. I wonder if I'm gonna get like a magical Feisty Punchy Tangrowth. Oh, never mind, now I'm gonna get a Tangrowth Tangrowth. Man, I'm getting like every single sodding Tangle I stumble upon. Okay, I'm gonna finish the job with the La Bunny. I wonder what Feisty does. I wanna see what Energy Ball does, because I think Energy Ball is pretty cool. Sort of figure Oh hey, it's no way, it's bouncing really weird. And it's like slightly changing direction after it bounces, which is confusing me a lot. It's sort of homing in on stuff I think. I don't know. It's still pretty good. Nothing on the psycho cut level, but pretty good for something that doesn't actually just attack everything near it. Hey, a feisty cherim. I wonder how you... I remember there was like some wonder code for the uh, happy form cherim, but I guess unless you somehow know Sunny Day, which I'm not sure if it exists in this game, it'll just be angry mode. Or emo mode, rather. Okay, pop, 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 pop. Pop. Uh, I'm gonna switch to this feisty cherum for no real reason. Have I even seen any? Oh, helping hand sure is useful in this game. I mean, actually, this game has much better co-op than regular Pokemon games, but still, Bibarel, really, really? That's the best Pokemon you could come up for the boss, is it? I mean, I guess it's the C rank, so it's supposed to be a bad boss, but that's, like, spectacular. It's weak to grass, too. Also, for some reason, since the existence of Bibarel with its normal water type is... It made me start... Th Did that make a chain chomp noise? But, yeah, it made me start thinking that, um... What's it called? Baby Meryl is, uh... P-Blue. Yeah, P-Blue was, uh normal water type, when well, it's really just a normal type, which is really weird, because I think that makes it the only Pokemon to completely change its type, so when it evolves besides Eevee. Anyway, this isn't a very good, but what is very good? This Tangle is actually not so bad. I might go with that for the championship. Yeah, I might as well do the championship before ending this recording session. I meant to just finish up the S rank and then go to sleep, but now it's like an hour and a half later and I'm Nowhere near done. Oh, hey, it's Rotom Party. I like Rotom Party. I want a Rotom. Apparently, to get the other forms of Rotom, you have to trick. You have to release a Rotom with a um. What's it called? One of the Eevee Eevee evolutions that corresponds to the element of the Rotom form, which is kind of cool. Uh, it's too bad Chansey can't evolve. It has a baby form and everything, but it just simply cannot evolve. Ah, uh, what a shame. Uh, 
And I'm not very good at not getting attacked, but luckily this Tangle is actually pretty good at um, having recovery moves, which are not very efficient because I'm totally sure that just ruined everything. And of course you can wake up earlier, but that prevents you from healing as long, which makes rest really not very good in this game. Now, is that not outrage? Um, uh, uproar. I think it was uproar. This is still a pretty fun move, even if it's not as efficient as it could be. I want to switch to the cadaver, but I have a feeling if it gets hit once, it'll die. I don't know what I'll switch to. I guess I'll cross that bridge when I reach it. Really, am I taking damage from the chair? I'm, I'm just gonna go off where nothing's looking at me for these stupid pit loves that I can kill really quickly and start resting again. No. That isn't very working. I'm just gonna hide over here and spam energy balls. That really should have been my strategy for the whole thing because that seems to be doing a lot more good than anything else I've been doing. Okay, I can rest again. This really should do a, more, a little bit more resting. If I mash A, does it work faster or something? Okay, you're just a scared Piplup. No, you're not a scared Piplup. You're a Piplup that's trying to attack me like a retard. Ah, oh, great. More stuff spawned. I mean, ordinarily it would be a bad idea to just randomly rest in the middle of this competition, I guess, but I have so much time, it seems like it's worth it. I mean, I would have been dead by now if I hadn't rested at least once, which is... makes me think it's a good idea. And the men does not prevent poison, which is okay, because I probably should have just let myself die for a while now. And Kadabra, I'm going to use you even though it might not be the best idea. You're, not, you're a little bit underleveled, but you're also overpowered with your whole... 4 star attack and 5 star actual attack. Or oh, Porygon. I want a Porygon! Why didn't I find any? Oh, hey, it's everything. Heat Rotom. Rotom Wash Rotom. Rotom Frost Rotom. Rotom Fan Rotom. Rotom Mo Rotom. Rotom is simultaneously my favorite. Uh, stupid! Quit crowding me. Can't think. Um, yes. I think Rotom is my favorite electric type, and it might be one of my favorite ghost types. Oh, well, yeah, no, it's one of my favorite ghost types. It might be my favorite ghost type. I can't remember anymore. And luckily, they're sort of pretending to team up, except it's not working very well, and they're just hitting each other with all their shock waves. And luckily, I can just spam this from a distance and not get hurt. That's great how it eliminates need for actual aiming. And it attacks fast enough, it can keep them mostly stunned, too. Yeah, I'm fine. I can just switch to a ground type or something. Although, ground type might not... I don't know. Levitate probably doesn't translate to this. I can't imagine that it would. So yeah, I'm pretty okay with just hiding over here. And if not, I can just find something that can hack some pretty easily. But looks like I won't even need to do that. Despite his weak defense Kadabra has pulled through in the fact he can shoot really super overpowered lasers at everything. Okay, 8,000. Dang, that seems like considerably more. Why did it push me away? Alright, so my wonder key has been upgraded yet again and I'm now able to go to the launch pad of rank B. So in the next video I will check out what kind of stuff awaits us in another rank B. I will see you then.